She's got a nice looking mahogany transom in it. It's probably a Honduran mahogany or a genuine South American mahogany. I believe that this transom has been replaced once before. I don't think that the boat probably originally had a bright transom in it, although it could have. I doubt it. And then as I get looking at it here, I see that there's a couple of Dutchmans in the ends of the plank and on the transom here and uh, another one up here. And then I'm looking and I see the size of these bungs in the transom here. And there's different sizes. There's a larger one here and a couple of smaller ones. But these are not typical of what you might have seen when the boat was built. The size of the plug-in would have been probably along this size, either half an inch or five-eighths or so. So I get the feeling that this has been bolted through here. And there must have been a reason for it. And I, I think that... She's got sprung planking on the transom. Now, I don't know how many layers there is because I haven't looked inside. I don't even know if the wood inside matches the wood from the outside, so it could be two layers. But this is not an overlay transom because if it were an overlay over the original, the planking would extend out past the side planking and you'd see a seam down the side, so it's not that way. So if it's been replaced, a layer had been taken off and then a, a new layer put back on again. But since that time, they may have had some trouble with the corner posts in the transom, the framework, because I don't think the screws were holding originally. That's why it's been rebolted. And I can tell you that on the other side, it's the same exact thing. So when I get up inside, I'm going to be looking at the condition of this corner post in the transom, the entire framework, the vertical frames, and the frame in the bottom that uh, catches the end of the plank in here. So first I'd like to just inspect this bottom plank here a little bit and I see that it's got some uh, checking in it in here and uh, I don't know the condition of this plank but I'm going to sound it with a hammer and when you, when you bang on things that are really solid you kind of get a sound like that and then you bang on things that are a little soft and the, the, the sound gets a little duller. Now I'm in here tapping around and I see that this plank is not solid against the framework behind it. That is not solid against the framework behind it. It's a little bit more solid over here because you hear that ring a little different. I am uh, impressed that the planking on the bottom seems to be solid up against the framework, which is a little surprising to me. It may possibly have been rebuilt or re, uh, refastened a number of times or something along those lines because it is solid against the, the framework, or reasonably solid. Now what I thought from outside would have been bolting holding the transom planking on coming through here is not but the reason why those plugs are so big on the transom is probably because they were having a hard time pulling those things down flat because of the curvature in the transom so what they've done is they've uh, drilled a much bigger plug hole and probably put washers or something on the screws in order to so the head it increases the size of the head so it's, it's able to pull down but I don't think the issue was the holding power in the transom framework because of the sound of this I'm just going to take one more look at this plank the bottom plank of the transom and I'm, I'm really displeased with this it seems so hollow here it's either full of checking uh, so badly in a vertical sense that it makes it sound hollow or it's got some softness in on the other side of it and I, I, I need to look at this more uh, thoroughly and uh, I'm going to probe it with a, a knife here just to see what condition the wood itself is in and it's oddly enough it feels pretty solid but it sounds you can see the plank and pulling in and out just with my knife tip look at the plank mobile see and now I've just got a little friction on my tip but I can pull that knife back and forth and, and actually pull that plank in and out so it's not fastened up very tightly and um, I'm thinking the best thing to do with this would probably be unfasten all the planking from the framework if it needs to be or if it's fastened up into this piece and uh, probably replace this bottom plank on the transom right here. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just scraping the ends of the bottom planking at the transom just to show that these are the annual rings in the wood right here and they're through the board this way which makes it quarter sawn if the annual rings appeared this way it would be slab sawn but this is all quarter sawn here's another quarter sawn piece this one's quarter sawn and it's all quarter sawn it's not a mix it's made of quarter sawn fur so I've stepped up forward and I'm up near the stem end here in the bow end of the boat 
this being the keel again this is the the bottom end of the stem itself now this piece right here that you see in here with the seam right here this is called the gripe and uh, it's basically the bottom section of a large wooden knee that's inside here that's bolted through the stem into that knee and then bolted through the uh, uh, forward end of the keel up into that knee. That knee just happens to extend out past what we would call the rabbit line, which is the line of uh, the plank and where it adjoins the keel. Now, I can't really inspect the bolting in this area, but I do have some things to say about it. And uh, I noticed that this is hardly opened up at all. Right, so this is a very tight joint. This tight, this joint between the keel and the stem is very, very tight comparatively to what you might expect to see in a boat this age. So it's either had bolts replaced or maintained in this area, or the, the wood was in, uh, such a good piece of wood to begin with that it's had very good uh, success over its lifetime here. Now, there are some things to point out about the uh, base end of the stem here. And that is is that you see this checking in it right here and now on the other side you can see the same thing this is the heart of the tree the very very center of the tree so when you have the center in what they call a boxed heart you have these checking problems and uh, it really isn't a uh, uh, in bad condition whatsoever you don't almost expect this to happen when it's got heart in in uh, in the timber like it is but there are some things to consider here and again it's about about taking the boat into southern waters these areas are, are not perfectly solid inside they've got checks and spaces inside and you can hear that that sounds a little solid um, sounds a little hollow it isn't really soft but it's got checking and that's what gives it that hollow sound this sounds a lot better and a lot more solid up here and what I'm afraid of here is, is that if it was taken into southern waters and allowed to stay down there for any length of time that worms could get into the stem in this position. So again, I would recommend either epoxy coating it or putting some light fiberglass cloth or some copper or just maintaining it with, with paint on a very regular basis so the worms are not allowed to get into it in this area. Yeah, see, there's a little bit of filler in there, see that? So it's got a little bit of filler in it here. This is just a very small piece of wood that's broken off from where this is a plug right here that's over one of the bolts that holds the stem onto the forefoot. Now I haven't damaged it there. I've just knocked out a very loose piece of putty. There's a little bit more putty in here. And uh, like I say, it really isn't any different than I thought it was. This is, like I said, boxed heart. These are checks that are in the heart of the timber. Now in this position right here, where you see the joint between the gripe and the stem start to fade behind the plank there should be a stop water right in here and it's very possible that when it was built that that stop water is put up a little higher than i would have put it because i don't see it here so it doesn't mean a lot to me but i believe there's a stop water right in here it's very hard to tell the condition of that stop water what it is is a round piece of cedar that's driven in a hole that interrupts the seam between the gripe and the stem. It's also got another one down at this end of the gripe, down in this position, which I probably am not able to see. Now, it's very hard to determine what the condition of those stop waters is because it's being covered by the plank. And in many situations, I recommend to people that they actually unfasten the planks and spring them out so that those things can be inspected and replaced if necessary. Nice and solid, nice and solid, nice and solid up in here. And this is the places where you hear the, hear the, the deadness. But like I say, that's from checks, not from being soft. 